Making Shatterfoil look good? I need to check myself. I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I have something from Japan today. Well, I guess it's always from Japan, but I got something new from Japan. It just came in the mail. This is Dragon Ball Unlimited 3 box. This is the Dragon Ball Unlimited 3 box from Japan. From a box in from Japan to me from Japan. And I have it for you guys to see what is in the Dragon Ball Unlimited 3 box. So we're going to trip this box today. You know, I get these boxes and I was thinking, why not show you guys what's inside? Because it's some pretty amazing Dragon Ball art. I love it. And I figured maybe you guys would love it. So uh, if this is your first time here and you like what you see, please take the time to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you guys for continuing to support this wonderful trip of extravaganza. There's these different cards and these are snacks from Japan. There's a Goku on here. There's some, there's some Jiren and Gohan and Broly and just some really awesome looking stuff. But basically, the story behind these snacks, 70s or 80s, there were these snacks in Japan called Bikuriman. And the Bikuriman were these snacks that had little stickers inside. And the stickers, Bikuri, I believe means like surprise or something like that. And the stickers were like these gag stickers or they would have like a little soy sauce spill or a fly and kids would prank their parents by putting these stickers on the table or something and it, eventually these stickers actually became kind of like collectibles and kids would be in school they'd be trading for the stickers and it got so out of hand that they ended up actually banning these stickers in school but i think I'm pretty sure that's where the tradition of like putting things inside of snacks in japan comes from but bikuri man has has done collaborations with dragon ball they've done collaborations with uh uh, One Piece, they have their own line and their own aesthetic of characters. So these are these wafer snacks, essentially. There's a wafer inside of these snacks. So let's get into this. Let's rip them. This unlimited three. All right, so here we go. There's this awesome picture of SS3 Goku here. Now let's get this thing stripped open. And let's see what's inside of this box. There's all these all these snacks, packs, packs of snacks. They're all wafers, but um, I mean, I guess we can bless them. I mean, I guess we can bless them one of these things. Let's just pull one out of here and uh, get these off to the side. So here's our bless them the snack, I guess. This is a snack em. I hope it's bless em. I think this SS3 like Dragon Fist Goku art is really rad. I would love to pull one of those snacks. It's like a matte silver foil kind of. Anyway, bless them. There's our bless them. But let's get in this. Let's see what's inside these packs. So here's another one of these Dragon Fist Goku arts. And inside the pack, as we strip them, this is a little bit bigger of a strip. I'm not really my normal hard size strip them, but a little bit of a different technique. And ooh, this looks like Janemba. All right, so this is Janemba. Seems like his shoulder is disappearing or something, but let's take this out of the sleeve so we can get a better look at this uh, card here. Wow, yeah, these are, they're kind of like a matte foil. So the foil really pops when it pops, but it looks almost like it's not shiny sometimes. And it is reverse holographic. So these are pretty cool. I think this, this art is awesome. And it even says Janemba. The correct uh, translation, obviously, Jinnen Ba. On to the next snack. Shrip on the snack. We got this Ultra Instinct Goku art here. This one looks amazing. That was gorgeous. Shrip on the snack. And what do we have here? This is some Vegeta art. So this is like a SS God Vegeta. It's a, let's get this out of its sleeve here as well. Wow. Yeah, really, really gorgeous. I love the way that the silver foil just pops. This man looks like he's on fire. Wow. It really made this man look like he is on fire. What a, what a cool card. Yeah, back in the sleeve. And our next shrimp in the snack, we got this SS3 Goku card again. 
coming from? I would love to pull the SS3 Goku. Oh, this one. I think this is a, this is a rare, more. Oh, yeah. We got that UI Goku. This is, this is rad. Wow. Oh, man. Look at that. Uh, it is Shatterfoil, but the Shatterfoil actually looks cool. Uh-oh. We got a good-looking Shatterfoil here. What is going on? This is dangerous. We're going to have to take a closer look at this. I got my uh, 3.5 magnification loop so we can really get a good look at uh, this. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, you want to look closer to that shatter? Oh, ah, yeah. oh man. Whoa. That is some, that is some, that is some shiny shatter for a lot of the print quality on this is outstanding. Whoa. Huh. Wow. Would you look at the quality of that print? Huh. Can you believe it? Wow. That's beautiful. All right. Back in here now. Can really, I, I really get a much higher magnification with these uh, 3.5 magnification glasses. So I can evaluate the quality much more accurately for you guys. I don't want to give you guys a inaccurate reading there. Um, but we're continuing on the strip of these, uh, these expire in August of 2021. So you want to make sure you strip these before then or else it will be an expired strip of and what is next? Oh, wow. Look at this Gogeta. Oh, cool. Holy hexagon. Let's take a look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that shiny. Look at that shiny. Ho! Oh, nice. These are gorgeous. These arts are just, they're so good looking. And they come with these little snacks also. These are little snacks. Maybe we'll, we'll check out one of those snacks at the end and give a evaluation about the Shrippum the snack. All right, next Shrippum here. I wonder if we're gonna get another one of these rare shiny ones. I mean, that Ultra Instinct Goku one was really rare, but I don't know how many rare pull. I think that, I think the Shadow Pearl means that it was a rare one. Whoa, yo, that is, what the heck? What the heck? Wow, that art is so cool. Oh, look there. Ooh. That is, uh, looks like they really got the quality dialed in there. Whoa. Really nice. Really beautiful. The, the, um, the, the mat, the way they do the mats, like, hollow, really makes the non-hollow pop in a cool way. This, this printing technology just really got me floored over here. Florida. Beautiful. Put that back in its sleeve. So, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the ones that... The, these pictures that have the kind of like the black background, those are considered to be more rare pulls also. So I think the shatter foil and those kinds are the rare of the, oh, yo, that is tough. Dang, son, Gohan. Dang, son, Gohan. Look at that toughness. Whoa, dangerous. Makes you want to wa kind of watch out, you know, sell. Don't mess with my peepaw cell. I'm throwing off my uncle, my real daddy uncle's cape here. Gohan is clearly about to embark on the clap back here. You can see. What a cool haircut. I love this haircut. Maybe they'll bring it back. Next strip on the snack. Another one of these SS. I think it's just two arts. It's the SS goes to an O. I think we got something rare here. Yo, whoa. Sick. What? Look at these boys going at it. Oh man. Yeah, look at them go. Whoa, that is explosive to look at. Oh, oh, whoa, huh? Oh, 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 whoa, what? Ha! Whoa, this is some seriously good looking stuff, guys. Whoa, gotta be careful there. Wow, I'm gonna blind my eye with how great this looks. <sighs> I never thought I'd say it, but I'm actually a fan of the shatter foil in this. I, you know, they took something that hurts my eyes. And they made it do right by my eyes. I hardly believe it. I never thought the words would come out of my mouth hole. Beautiful. These, these, cards, these arts are gorgeous. Keep them. So I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to find one. This is. And I would love to see that SS3 Goku would just be so cool. And I guess you know we get more than one of these kind of sparkly shatter foil extra rare cards. I think in each one of these. Whoa, yo! Look at this guy. Oh man, that is mean. Ah, oh, this is a mean guy. Look at it. Look at his eyes. Huh. Wow, look at those red eyes. He's, this is. This cooler means business. This is about to ruin somebody's day. Gosh, look at the look at the way that the water looks. The reverse foiling just looks so good. They've done such an amazing. This is packs. Are, the packs are big. So the shrimps end up being big. Oh, that is too cute. What? Ah, oh, 
Heated Dragon, and Gohan, Lil Gohi. You know, a lot of people think Dragon Ball is Goku is the main character, but I think Dragon Ball Z is really about Gohan. I should here we have this wonderful shot of Lil Gohi on his dragon rainbow adventure wonderland the look in his eye he just it's full of wonder his world is full of wonder and, and he wonders what will come in this beautiful world on my on my dragon ride of of the hire dragon higher dragon as some like to call him i know icarus is a isn't is a fan favorite as well so gotta throw that one out there for those american dub fans but whoa man how cute is that and apparently i don't know how to pronounce pokemon name so whoops, probably shouldn't open any more of those. Oh, dang, that is tough. We got another tough guy here. We got a tough guy, Vegeta. He says, look at me. Look at the shape of my thumb. I can bite the tip of my thumb right off and it won't even phase me. You see these look, you see how crazy I look? Look at my eyes. Does this look, does this look like I'm not crazy? I will bite my thumb right off, I swear. Yeah, try it, try me. I'll blow myself up. You want to push me that far? I will I will make myself explode. I will give my son a hug, say goodbye, bite off my thumb, and just blow up. That's kind of, I think, what he's saying here in this picture. But this is, I mean, in all seriousness, this is, this is cool stuff, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous art. But I think it's this one. It's this, it's this Super Saiyan 3 Dragon Fist kind of Goku. Awesome to find it. And what is it? Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. U7 Frieza. The, you know, tournament of power with the halo on that punch. What a cool change we see in Frieza's character development. You know, I'm really interested in the things that Frieza says and and how his and the, the, the kind of the fundamental character development that's laid out in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. I think that movie is really about Frieza. But they did call it the Broly movie, so I can't argue too much there. Oh, we got another one of these reverse art kind of cards. What's this one? Whoa, Janemba and Gogeta. That's so dang cool. It's so subtle. It's such a subtle, with the metallic reverse foil, it's so, it's so subtle. And then it really pops when you see it, which is really cool. Like. There's no way you can't see when the light's hitting it like that. But here, you really get a good focus on Gogeta. Man, I just, I love it. Like, if I showed this stuff to myself when I was a kid, my head would have just exploded. Rock my world. Hey, check out these pants, dude. Snack, what's in this one? Oh, cool, this is the Goku from that same shot. Oh, I wonder if these cards go together. The U7 moment, oh yeah. Yes, the picture is complete. Now that is cool. Now that is something I'm gonna have to display in my lair. What a moment. When Frieza and Goku get together and like get back to back, I, cry I cried a lot. I was bawling. It was, what a moment. Oh, what a ride it's been, Dragon Ball. I'll go anytime. Oh, we got something shiny here. Ooh, Broly. Yo, that's cool. This is rad. That is radical. Oh, man. His hand, the way his hand is behind that exploding, exploding explosion. I love Dragon Ball. What can I do about it? It just looks so dang good. And it's so cool what they do with this art. Making Shatterfoil look good. I need to check myself. I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth. It's wild. I see the name Vegito here, and ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, man. And it's like, you know, you look at this picture, and you're like, okay, this picture's like, this is pretty, like, maybe a little basic. But then once you get this foiling effect going, like, what? That looks crazy. That looks insane. They're so cool. There's so many dimensions to the way that you can explore this art, and it is just, I am here for the ride. Take me for the ride. I'm... I, I woke up to go on this ride. I love it. And another shrimp in the snack. What is here? Oh, is this one of these cool reverse arts? Oh, whoa. Broly vs. Gohan. That is so cool. They just picked like some of the coolest fights ever. Unlimited 3. I wonder if we're going to see that SS3 Goku though. Oh, man. But I can't get hung up on that. I just got to appreciate how beautiful this is. 
look at all the different dimensions to the way that this can just look amazing it's so amazing so good looking i think matte foil stuff just is really cool when it's done right look out is this this looks like trunks oh yeah kid trunks i saw that sword and i was expecting future trunks but there's definitely a point in time where kid trunks has this sword my boy tapion tapion however you say his name all right we got three more of these stripping the snacks what is in this next snack Ooh, we got something shine here yo yeah yes <laughs> This is the Dragon Fist Goku. Wow, yeah, this is, all right, this is seriously cool. We gotta take a look at this one, gang. Let's get these spectacles on. Take a closer look. Oh, whoa, wow, whoa, huh, oh, it's so beautiful. My eyes feel so blessed. What an absolute treat. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. This really does a lot for my eyes, holes. Oh, beautiful. What a, you know, I love bananas. I've always been a fan of bananas. One of my favorite fruits. And this man literally just has a farm of bananas hanging off of his head. What a cool looking, powerful snack. You know, I just lost about half my hair and I still don't know where it is. But I do feel like I lost about six pounds. Feels a lot lighter. What an absolutely gorgeous card. All right, what do we got here? And this one is, oh, Jiren, yeah, thick boy, watch out. Look at the head on this guy. Look at those veins in his brain. He's thinking so hard. He's got so much to plan of how he's going to win this fight, and he just needs to get all the blood to his head so he can think. Jiren, Orida. All right, here it is, our bless him, the snack. So, oh, snack unlimited three, thou art blessed. Please have a fire cardo inside this snack. If we could see what it would be, we would be so happy on the count of three. Shrip them. Got something shiny in here, gang. Oh yeah, Kaioken Goku. Getting very angry, very upset. Look at that look on his face. He is not pleased. This guy is not thrilled, but it is a shatter foil shiny. Wow, oh cool. Kind of looks good. There's just so many ways to appreciate these things, I find. I think these are all actually technically postcards. Anybody that would just send this thing in the mail by itself is out of their mind. That's been our strip of the snack. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little different than what we usually do here. But um, I wanted to try it out. I love these Japanese wafer snacks. I love looking at the art. I appreciate this art so much. I hope this was enjoyable for you guys. If there's more stuff like this that you want to see, you know, let me know in the comments. I am totally open to suggestions. Whatever I can get my hands on, if it's Dragon Ball, I would love to share it with you guys. Um, I am a dentist, so I can't end this episode without doing a dental tooth tip. So I have one of these wafers. I feel like I should just go ahead and try one of these wafers out and talk about it from a dental perspective. Maybe that's a good uh, idea. So let's strip them the snack. This is really stripping the snack, I guess. All right, we got this wafer here. It's a pretty good snack. It's not quite on the level of Bikuri Men wafers. What I can tell you guys is a little bit about your teeth. You have two designations of your teeth, anterior and posterior. Anterior are from the midline to the canine. Posterior are behind the canine to your last molar. Anterior teeth are for shearing food. Posterior teeth are for munching food, <laughs> breaking it down. So you wanna bite stuff with your anterior teeth and chew it with your posterior teeth. And remember, never bite anything that's harder than your teeth. This is a little dental tooth tip for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you guys next time.